keep our, like you said, we all speaking the same things and we keeping our foot on Esau's neck, they're going to turn on us too. And you got to be ready for that because you can only expose so many, uh, so many things that they've been doing before they say, you know what, now we got to shut these dudes up. Yeah. And, and that's, that, that's, what was that article you, go back yeah, to the article you was the, reading. Because it's going go to yeah. go into Telegram too. Because to that's Telegram. what they was going into right here. Shadow banning. Taking us out because of the names. That's what it's going into. Put that back on there. Let's read that. Israel's prosecutor, prosecutor's office said it had requested the removal of content that incited violence and terrorism, mm. as well as any promotion of groups widely de designated as terrorists. Mm. And, right. I wonder who's that talking about, right. Johnny. <laughs> huh. Including Hamas and the Islamic Jihad. Mm. It also asked that several songs praising Hamas that served as soundtracks for thousands of videos on TikTok be taken down. Damn. TikTok, which told Forbes its policy was to remove all pro-Hamas content. That's some, hip that's some hypocritical right. stuff, bro. For real. TikTok yep. is crazy. Yep. TikTok is crazy, man. Oh, Instagram is my crazy, God. bro. And this is what they're taking down. Yep. But they'll let you black women shake your behind all day long. On slave ports. Yep. On slave ports. Dang. All day <laughs> long. Go ahead, play, uh, read on. TikTok, which told Forbes its policy was to remove all pro Hamas content mm -hmm. as soon as it's identified, Dang. remove the videos playing the songs. Mm -hmm. Policies for moderating uh, violative content differ across platforms, but Google, TikTok, and Facebook all ban material that promotes or is produced by terror groups, including Hamas, which has been designated as such by the U.S. government. Violence or hatred against individuals or groups based on ethnicity, nationality, uh -oh. race, or religion uh -oh. are also banned. Uh-oh. So you see that? Yep. That's what I was going with you said, officer. Yep. All that is, uh, they got all that, they covering everything under one umbrella. Yep. Mm. Yeah, we, we got y'all. We going we gonna to ban, we going to ban y'all one day. And this is why you got to subscribe to IUIC TV. <laughs> That's, That's right. Real. You know what I'm so you can continue to, to stay, stay in the loop, stay yep. in the know. Yep. yep. And this is why you got to study. <coughs> there you go. Because, hey, all these classes, they ain't going to be online forever. So you got to study so you actually know this for yourself. Mm -hmm. All right, go to the next one. What else you got? Go to the next song. Um, go to the part two, the Mark um, Lamont part two. I'm saying we will do everything for the Gazan people. Once and now, we demand immediate surrender, unconditional surrender of Hamas. If Hamas people mm. come out with their hands up and clear their weapons, believe me, everything will be restored to Gaza. It oh, is Hamas. Don't believe it. Okay, if now I understand. Th thank you for clarifying that, sir. I think I think I think we're actually on the same page here. You're saying that once Hamas leaves, you'll you'll grant the the, the Gazan people food, shelter, fuel, electricity, hospitals, schooling. And in, and if they don't, and, and if Hamas doesn't leave, then they'll continue to starve and die in hospitals. You are defining for the international community right now collective punishment. You're saying until uh, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I like that. Hold on, <laughs> I like that. You yep. see what my man did right there? Bring yep. it out. Yeah, hey, go it. back, go back. He flipped it on him. Yeah, he flipped it on him. See, Esau was like, yeah, okay, Negro, you on our side. He started shaking his head. <laughs> he said, well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Whoa, then whoa. he caught it. Whoa. <laughs> then he <laughs> caught it. He's in the middle of a head shake. <laughs> yeah, yeah bro, go, play. go back, go back, go back, go back. <laughs> go back, go keep going back. Keep going back. Go ahead. No, 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 keep going back, keep going back. Right there. All right, watch this. Listen, listen. To Gaza, it is Hamas in Hamas hands. That, okay, if now I understand. Care, that, thank you for clarifying that, sir. I, I think, I think, I think we're actually on the same page here. You're saying that once Hamas leaves, you'll you'll grant the the, the Gazan people food, shelter, fuel, electricity, hospitals, schooling. And in, and if they don't, and, and if Hamas doesn't leave, then they'll look, continue look. to starve and die in hospitals. You are defining for the international community right now collective punishment. You're saying no. until, yeah. until Hamas no. acts differently, the two million people in Gaza are going to be treated this way. And once Hamas acts differently, these two million people in Gaza will be treated better. That is exactly what collective punishment is. You're holding them accountable for the actions of others. That is the definition, the textbook definition of, of, of collective punishment, sir. Now, you may, you, you may accept that that's what you want to do, but this is absolutely a contravention of international law. Mm. 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 Cut him up. 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 Uh, keep going. Go to the next one. Go to the next one. 
And how do they how do they expect to believe a man that had already took ninety five percent of the country? Yeah. You get what Damn, I'm saying? Son. Well, give me the I, defi- give me the definition of collective punishment. You gotta go to the um after you do that to the one where he got fired. Oh, they, they got him. They got him. They got him. Let me see. Read that. Collective punishment is a war crime prohibited by treaty in both international and non-international armed conflict. Damn, read that again. Mm. Collective punishment is a war crime. It's a war crime. Go ahead. Prohibited by treaty in both international and non-international armed conflicts. Mm -hmm. Hey, keep going. More specifically, common Article 33 of the 4th Geneva Convention and Article 4 of the Additional Protocol 2. Scroll over. Let me see something. Scroll over. Over. uh, We see it on the side. Yeah, 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 yeah. Collective punishment. Collective punishment is a punishment or sanction imposed on a group for acts allegedly perpetuated by a member of that group, Mm, which could be an ethnic or political group Mm. or just the family, Mm. friends, Mm. and neighbors of the perpetuator. Perpetrator. Mm, you see that? Perpetrator. Perpetrators. You see that? Yep. So they, they attack your family, friends, for what you did. Yep. That's collective punishment, mm-hmm. which is put in law by a treaty. Right. <laughs> that's that's yeah. a war crime. That's Geneva, a war crime. The Geneva Convention, just like them bombing the hospitals, bombing the mosques, that's breaking the Geneva Con- Convention. And just like we just read right there, mm-hmm. bottom denying what electricity, water, the basic necessities, that's mm-hmm. that's a, a, a breaking of that. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Let's go to the next one. The one where he got fired. Pro Mark Lamont Hill fired. <laughs> That's crazy. Damn. So you mean to tell me in school we used to get collective punishment? Yep. You remember when the Negroes <laughs> acting up and the whole class got to put their head down? <laughs> At home. At home, At home is collective, collective punishment. That's a war crime. That's a war. You damn parents out there. Y'all parents out there, man, that stood up there and one kid act up and then everybody in the house get it. Yep. That's well, collective punishment. punishment. That is a war crime. Yo, Heads brother, and yo, everybody in the house get a whooping. Because yeah, everybody in the up. house get a yep. whooping. Yep. That's a war crime, man. <laughs> so we just gave y'all kids, yeah. so that's why you got to watch Sands of the Sea. Right? They, they casualties of war. They got casualties of war. Damn, yeah, hey. you're right. Casualties Emotional of war. Emotional damage. All right, you ready? We good? <laughs> that was good. Go ahead. <laughs> Yeah, this idea of being progressive except for Palestine uh, is something that can be problematic. I think that if we uh, worry about injustice, we have to be concerned with uh, injustice across the board. It doesn't mean that everybody has to target uh, Palestine as the issue. There are many issues uh, on the board that we have to take seriously. Uh, but if you have a position on Palestine, if you have a position on, on, the, on, the, on what we call the conflict, then I think to be silent on that issue, or if, if your position on Israel-Palestine stands in such sharp contrast to all your other ideological positions, I think that's where we get a very, very uh, uh, problematic, we enter a very problematic space. If I'm interested, if I'm outraged by gentrification, if I'm outraged by the separation of families, if I'm outraged by redlining, if I'm outraged by all of these kind of domestic issues, uh, or, or even American border issues, then I can't, I have to be able to take that same outrage to every part of the world. And again, it doesn't mean that we only uh, focus on Israel, of course. I, I, I have spent a great deal of my time, particularly when I was at Huffington Post, uh, looking at Syria, uh, looking at uh, Yemen more recently. I have written considerably right, about go, Saudi go, Arabia. Go ahead, pause right, go uh, pause because- And um, remember, or y'all don't know, but they also, he also had, because he made statements like this on CNN before, mm-hmm. but CNN have released a statement and we might not agree with everything he says, but we won't fire him. They, that's what they said in the past. But as you see, him speaking more on this issue, mm-hmm. it caused him to lose his job. Mm. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. 